When we try to get the fight safely to the ground, the takedown is option one. It's always better to be on top, get on top, stay on top. But if we can't get the fight to the ground with our takedowns, pulling guard is an option. Pulling guard sometimes gets a bad rap, but what people forget is that pulling guard is an offensive move. You're trying to bring your partner into a situation where they're off balance, and where you feel you have an advantage, whether that be in a self-defense situation, in MMA, as many MMA fighters do, or particularly in sport jiu-jitsu tournaments. So I'm gonna show two options for guard pulling, one of which is a defensive option, and one is a guard pull right into an attack. In judo, they have things called sacrifice throws, where you voluntarily go to your own back because you believe you can throw your opponent. Think of a guard pull like that. It's a way where, yes, we're going to our own back, but we're doing so for an offensive purpose because we want to off-balance our opponent and take them into the world we want to take them in. So let's talk about if I just want to pull guard. Pull guard or the closed guard. Standard grips are going to be collar and sleeve. I'm going to get my partner's sleeve, and I'm going to get my partner's collar. Often these are neutral grips because we're looking for the same thing. In this case, it doesn't really matter what grips my partner has. But let's just assume we get the same grips. So with my sleeve grip, the same side that I have my sleeve grip on, I'm going to step on my partner's hip. The reason for that is if I try to step on Dave's hip with the, without the sleeve that I have, Dave can just grab my leg. Now he's taking me down on his terms. In a sport jiu-jitsu tournament, he's gonna get two points. In a situation where it's more important than a sport jiu-jitsu tournament, he's gonna take me to the ground on his terms, not on my terms. So we wanna step on the side where he literally cannot disengage because I have his hand. So I'm gonna take this leg and step on his hip. I'm gonna keep it bent at first, but then when I take him to the mat, I'm gonna extend my leg and pull with my grip to the side because remember, we wanna off balance him. In the ideal scenario, and often this will happen, your partner will be forced to their knees in the closed guard. So it looks like this. I have my sleeve grip, I have my collar grip. Same side I have the sleeve grip, I'm gonna step, and notice that my leg is bent. As I pull with the collar, I'm going to straighten my leg which off balances day, right? His hips go backward, as his shoulder goes forward, and he comes into my closed guard. From here, I can start to attack. And how you start to attack, of course, depends on the situation. But ideally, the idea is we're just bringing the fight to the ground to a situation where we want it. So once again, my partner grabs the collar, I grab his sleeve. He grabs my sleeve, I grab his collar. Grip fighting is a whole other enterprise that so we'll get into it another time. I'm gonna step on the hip, keeping my leg bent, and when I'm ready to go, obviously this would be all one motion, but for now, drill slowly, slow makes smooth, smooth makes fast. I'm gonna pull my right grip to the right while I extend my leg, off balancing my partner who comes to his knees. And that's our basic defensive guard pull. The thing is, guard pull can also be offensive. If you watch fighters like Cron Gracie or even Ryan Hall, you'll see guys that initiate guard pulls to initiate attacks, even in MMA. And one common thing that, that is one of my favorite moves for sport jiu-jitsu is called the tripod sweep. It's a simple, but powerful sweep, and we can use this guard pull to go right into it. So now let's do that. Master the defensive one first, but then we'll get into the tripod sweep. So we start with these grips, right? Same grips as before. The only difference is, as you see, like when, you see Dave, how Dave's right leg is forward? That's gonna be the heel that I grab. So I'm gonna step on the I'm gonna step on his hip, and as I start to go down, I'm gonna to fall to my left hip so I can easily grab that ankle with my left hand. You see how I have my left foot on the hip and I have his heel? I remember this sweep as the sweep of three H's: the heel, the hip, and the hook. The hook is this foot, which is gonna swing right behind his leg so we can't backstep and compromise his or, and, and uh, correct his base. From here, I'm gonna let go of the collar and come to the sleeve. In reality, and you'll see this when I do this in real time, I would transfer that on my way down. I'm gonna push with my left foot, pull with my heel grip, and just keep this in place so we can't backstep. Come right up to the top. Often you'll be able to pull yourself right into a guard pass like a knee cut right there. Collar, sleeve. Step on the hip. This time I am going to transfer grips on the way down, so watch for my right hand to come to the, to come to the cross sleeve. Now you can do this with just about any grip, you know, same side sleeve, collar, even the belt, but that cross sleeve grip is going to be optimal for these purposes because it enables us to go right into an attack once we hit the, once we hit the top. So let's do that one more time. I'm going to do it in real time and talk through it. I get the collar and I get the sleeve. I know I want to attack. I'm gonna step on the hip. Whatever hip I step on, I'm gonna to fall to that side hip. So my left hip's gonna be on the mat, my right hip's gonna be in the air. My left hand is gonna reach for his heel as my right hand transfers the sleeve grip. As you can see,
see I become writing and I need to pass. Last thing, David, if you would stand here. The reason the hook is important, you understand why the heel and the hip are important, right? Because I push his heel while I, or I push his hip while I pull his heel, controlling his leg. But if I have that, if I have everything I want, but just not the hook, Dave's just gonna step backward, compensating his base. If I have the hook, and I'm not like pulling hard with it, I'm just putting a block in place so that as he tries to compensate his base, it's no longer possible. Fundamentally, we do want to be on top. Get on top, stay on top. If you're on bottom, be in the closed guard, but be finding a way to the top. Guard pulling is not just going to our back for the sake of going to our back. It's because we're going to our back to off-balance our opponent and get them right into the situation where we can either sweep them or submit. 